I'm high as I've ever been, higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness. How to stay current and relevant. Guys, it's your boy Rawad here, and today we're back for another episode of Bleach Brave Souls, guys. And in today's episode, uh, we are going to be uh, quickly discussing two new characters that are be coming to the game that are becoming a six star. As you guys just saw, I did just post my video about the new Kenpachi, Ikaku, and Toshido full bringers. They're unreal, so click that link and go look at that video if you haven't seen it yet. It's pretty fucking sick. Those characters are broken, but. Uh, regardless, today we're going to be talking about 6-star Kone and 6-star Ichigo and why they're going to be so fun to use. Um, I got some gameplay in the background, guys, just going to be farming. And underneath me, I have a little folder of fan art. Every uh, minute or so, it's going to switch between different fan arts that you guys send me. So please, if you guys want to be featured on my videos, please send me your fan art to my Twitter. You can uh, just tweet at me or inbox me, whatever works. And I uh, would love to have you guys featured. Uh, the ones that, like... Uh, include me in them are like the best ones. I really like them But if you guys just have drawings that you guys want me to put up uh, or something you worked on Please send it to me. I would love I just love all fan art So especially the one under here me versus VL Ichigo. It's I'm honestly amazing by master Alk. He, he kills it So I hope you guys do enjoy and uh, let's get into these stats. So shout out to the FYI uh, Bracewell's FYI where I'm gonna be reading these stats off of and posting some of the images from a uh, great website always want you guys to check him out if you guys need info and stats link in the description as always so let's get into this guys so first off let's start off with cone guys six star cone uh, um he is amazing he is amazing um he does get a six star um and his attribute or his soul trait becomes stamina plus 320 percent guys yes 320 sorry not percent um Yes, you're hearing that right, plus 320. And uh, just so you know, it does stack. So uh, what you're going to see when I read you his stats are his stats with the 320 added. It's not the stats plus 320. That's not how it works, guys. So Cone has 960 stamina as a six-star, guys. You're not hearing that wrong. 960 stamina. Um, if you run him with plus 120%, which is the full um, build you could run on him for stamina uh, for a hot plus 120 percent he will have or be the first character to have over 2,000 stamina guys it's gonna be crazy I hope you uh, guys do get him because uh, and, and you get that plus like with a chappy he'll definitely be over 2,000 he's gonna be a really fun PvP character just for trolls because he just won't die guys so take a look at the rest of his stats he has 500 uh, 454 attack 262 defense and uh, 424 SP and 242 uh, focus. I don't know why that tripped me out the way his it is. It's always it's always the first number and the last number are the same. But it's gonna be lit, guys. He's a great character. He's gonna be really fun to use. Unfortunately, I do not have him on JP. Um, I didn't wasn't a JP player at the time when they first released him. But you guys do have him on global, so I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys think when he does release as a six star. Um, also. He needs five Hokyokus, which is kind of crazy. Uh, they both need five Hokyokus, but all these like free, fun characters typically need five. So, I mean, it could be the opposite way around, where like the good characters need five and the shitty ones need three, but it, I like it th this way. It's a lot better. So, Cohen, as you can expect, needs 130 large stamina crystals or jewels. Like, what else? You know, I, I don't blame that. It's, it's pretty fair for 900 and. 60 stamina like it's fucking crazy um he needs a few attack jewels a few defense jewels a few sp jewels and like no focus jewels which is really easy to get and uh yeah he's gonna be a very fun viable pvp character for you guys um he has 20 percent additional damage i believe it's against hollows um or a rank cars i'm not too sure and um he does have some three cool abilities which makes him really fun as a six star so he has um, emergency avoidance plus one, so he gets double flash step. Um, he gets uh, normal attack speed up, so the speed of normal attack will increase plus 30, guys. So he gets a plus 30% normal attack boost. Um, so he's gonna be hitting really fast, and he's gonna have really like good flash steps, which is a roll. So he's gonna have double rolls, and then he also gets emergency avoidance distance up, which means he gets double rolls and 
longer distance. So he's going to be a really hard unit to hit, very dodge friendly. He's going to be so fun to play with in co-op slash PvP, just to troll and stuff. So he's just going to be a really overall fun character. Great unit to just experiment with and just have a blast with. So I do hope you guys do decide to save five Hogyokus for him and take him to six star. And I would love for you guys to like use him when I stream um, and just have some six star Cone in the lobbies. It'd just be amazing. So that's Cone. Uh, great character, going to be really fun, and his ultimate attack is a full screen attack, as you guys do know, you guys already have the 5 star version, nothing pretty much changes from that. So, next, we have uh, Shikai Ichigo, who um, also is getting a 6 star, and is getting the same boost, he gets plus 320 stamina, which is unbelievable, um, he has stamina at 990 base, guys, holy shit, 990 stamina, Almost 1,000 for a normal character, which is going to be amazing. He's going to tank hit so well. He's going to have so much health. So taking a look at the rest of his stats, he has 446 attack. Pretty basic. 257 defense. 247 focus and 418 spiritual pressure. So, of course, he's just mostly a, a tank, a health character. Um, he has... Um, 20% additional damage against a rankers as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and... Uh, he needs attack jewels, which is kind of weird um, considering he has 446 attack. I would not really recommend maxing this character. I mean, maxing his stamina is definitely worth it, but 150 large attack jewels is not something you want to just throw away at a character. Uh, it's sort of really up to you. Uh, don't let me control what you do. It's, it's your account. I'm just saying for me personally, I wouldn't spend 150, but if you're loaded, and you have a lot, then go for it, because he's still going to be an overall fun unit to run, and he has some pretty cool 6-star abilities, guys. So, he takes 5 Hogyokus as well, and what's really cool about this character is that uh, it is confirmed that there is a new raid coming out, a new 4-star Ichigo raid. It's a heart raid, um, and you need them. You need 6 of them for this Ichigo. He gets normal attack range up, plus 30, which is amazing. Um, normal attack power up, so plus 30% for his normal attacks, which is crazy. Um, and really good, and his normal attack speed increases plus 30, so he's going to be hitting harder, bigger range, and stronger. Like, that's amazing. No, harder, bigger range, and faster, which is unbelievable, and uh, his attacks will stay the same. And yeah, guys, it, it's pretty cool. I'm glad that they're adding these, like, cool, unique characters to the game. Um, I think it's already updated in the JP's booklet, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they've added it to global just yet, but let's take a look at the JP. So as you guys do know, I'm avid jp player so you guys can let me know about global in the chat down below um in the comments so let's see do they add him yet uh no i do not see him maybe they did and i missed it but i don't see him yet in the banner or in here but he should be coming out relatively soon so anyways as you guys can see in this banner we do have the new characters they are updated uh, updated it and we get the the plush rukia which i'm gonna buy from the metal exchange guys so expect a little showcase for her when she comes out and you guys can see no they haven't added any new five star raids yet i believe no i guess they're not adding any so we have a new uh raid right here which is the ichigo raid we have a toshido raid the Orihime raid and the kensei raid are already out i haven't done them yet uh, so i don't have the drops but uh, they are already out and they do exist so let me know what you guys think about shikai ichigo and kone or khan however you guys like to pronounce his name and let me know what you think are you going to level them up or are they worth five hogyokus for you guys chat with me in the comments down below let me know your thoughts and opinions and i hope you guys enjoy nonetheless um besides that i want to um just stress that um, nothing really crazy is coming to the game. We're getting two new character packs. I should have mentioned this earlier, but we're getting two new character packs to the game. It is Hollow Orihime as well as uh, Green Mayuri. So, not Hollow Orihime, I mean Hueco Mundo Orihime. So, nothing too special, guys. Um, I wouldn't even suggest buying these because these are two very bad characters. Um, Orihime is okay. We don't have her six star as of yet, so we're not too sure about her. But, guys 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 i would not suggest um i would not suggest uh getting hollow otohime whatsoever um just because i uh, sorry why do i keep saying that i would not suggest getting otohime just because um it's not worth 32.99 at least that's how much it costs for canadian dollars um definitely not worth it uh they're pretty low tier units um if you're getting it for the orbs i understand that's reasonable but besides that i wouldn't go for it um and i just stumbled upon this guys i did not even know that uh these were getting a six star already so 
Plus, Orihime is getting a 6-star, and she's getting some cool abilities. So is Toshiro, and so is uh, Tensa Sangetsu, which is amazing. They're all getting emergency avoidance, but uh, when these characters come out, we'll probably make a video, or somebody's already made a video on their stats. Or I would check the FYI, of course, because they have everything on there. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you're mostly excited about. Let me know if you're going to take any of these characters to 6-star. I'm really excited to know what you guys think. And I love you guys, as always. Peace.